Hello, this is Haku Bean, and I am here with The End of Death, Season 2, Part 1. If you like the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you do not like the video, well, eh, I'm giving up on clever thing to say. We're going over SCP-4514. The thing that kills you. Item number SCP 4514. Object class Safe. Special container procedures SCP 4514 is to be held on in a standard safe class container. SCP 4514 is only to be used with the approval of the O5 Council. Hmm. <sighs> Description SCP-4514 refers to a standard switch knife. SCP-4514's anomalous properties are known to manifest should it injured or an individual such that they lose 40% of their blood, injure an individual to cause significant brain damage to the brain, injure an, an individual to cause significant damage to the heart, or injure an individual such that they are incapable of respiration. Investigation is underway to discover additional ways to trigger SCP-4514's anomalous properties. Actually, no. That's been crossed out. Should an individual will be injured by SCP-4514 in such a way that it activates its anomalous properties, that individual will die. Caused by cessation of neurological activity. Remember, dying is usually impossible in this canon. And has been for a long time. But now they found a way to kill. Anyway, discovery. On May 14th, 2130, SCP 4514 was recovered following a violent altercation between two inebriated individuals. The quarrel resulted in SCP 4514 being used to kill one of the involved persons. Foundation personnel were alerted after the local newspaper published a story covering the event who administered amnestic to all witnessing policies. A disinformation campaign was ran and thereafter to discredit the news agency. Experiment Log Experiment Number 1 Subject D3314 36-year-old Caucasian female, healthy. Procedure Subject is to be given a a minor incision, 0.125 centimeters deep, 30 centimeters long, into her arm with SCP-4514. Result: Subjects have survived. They like to, they just like completely forget how to kill people after death has been gone for so long. Anyway, experiment two. D3314, 36-year-old Caucasian female, healthy. Subject is to be sedated and given a major incision, one since we were deep, ten centimeters long, um, into her leg with SCP-4514. Afterwards, the wound is to be stitched together. Experiment 3. Subject, D-8833, 93-year-old Asian male, inhibited cerebral function. Subject is to be sedated and functioned with SCP-4514. The puncture is to target the brain and occur as quick, swiftly as possible. Result, subject expired. Experiment number four. Subject, D11424, 131-year-old Caucasian female, suffering from muscle spasms and a numbness due to complications arising from neck surgery. Hmm. Procedure, subject is to be sedated and given a major incision, one centimeter or deep, 10 centimeters long, across her midsection. If the subject is still alive after 50% of the subject's blood has left her body through the incision, the wound is to be stitched together and an adequate amount of blood is to be siphoned back into the subject. Result, subject expired after 40% of her blood left her body.
Additional tests hidden in for gravity. Experiment number 47. Subject. Researcher George House, 132-year-old Caucasian male. Procedure. A small portion of SCP-4514 is removed and melted. It is to be fused with a standard 45 caliber bullet. The subject is to be sedated and then shot in the head with the bullet. Result. Subject expired. Experiment number 48. Researcher Tanya Laval, 89-year-old Caucasian female. S procedure. Subject is to be sedated. Pressure is applied to the subject's throat using the handle of SCP-45-14, such that the subject suffocates. Result, subject expired. Experiment number 49. Site Director Charles Ospant, 149-year-old Caucasian and male. Subject is to be sedated and punctured with SCP-45-14. The puncture is to be performed by a mechanical arm. Result, subject expired. You have one new message. <sighs> Foundation Network Intersightcom Service V.3.155 Message from Ethics Committee Received Dr. Young, we have reviewed your experiment logs and deemed them excessive and un unwarranted. However, if we are to be honest, we noticed your undue testing of SCP-4514 a while ago. It's rare to have a D-Class actively lined up for experimentation. Testing actual employees was only inevitable. We need to discuss what the next step should be. Create a standardized process for choosing SCP-4514 test subjects. Offer this service to the public, etc. In the end, as you can tell, we return to our core principles as an organization. The world has forced us to redefine the status quo, but it is not our job to change it back, no matter how much we want to be at eternal peace. Normalcy dictates that we can never achieve it. Officially, you are hereby removed from the SCP-4514 project. And officially, we get it. Life's a jerk. Dr. Violet Mesmer from the Ethics Community. The Ethics Committee does not exist. Anyway, that was SP45. I forgot the number. 4514. Okay. That was SCP-4514, a knife that can kill. This isn't very uh, unusual in our current reality, because all knives can kill if you actually use them right. But in this canon, you cannot die. And now they found a knife that will actually grant you death. Whether or not that's a good thing, is not up to me at all. I personally don't like the idea of being immortal. But your opinion on it might be different. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down down below and subscribe to the channel. If you did not like the video, then you just wasted about 10 minutes of your time. Anyway, goodbye!